next topic is matrix representation of mitn operator Okay, so we know the Hermitian operator A dagger equal to A transpose whole complex. This is the Hermitian operator definition. So let us try to represented these operators in matrix form we know a n m right which means this is n a and this one is m so i'm going to write this thing in matrix form a n by m into transpose okay so first i'm going to write a n m matrix so this one is a11 a12 a13 and so on okay next a21 a2 2 a 2 3 and so on a 3 1 a 3 2 a 3 3 and so on this is general matrix representation of uh, a n by m i am going to apply this matrix into transpose If you apply the transpose, the cat vector is going to change, bra vectors, bra vectors, I mean column vector going to change, pro vectors, pro vector going to change into the column vector. After applying transpose, the vector notation, this matrix representation notation form like this a1 2 here okay a1 3 this is a2 1 this is a2 2 this is a2 3 and this is a3 1 this is a3 2 this is a3 3 so after applying transpose, it became like this. Okay. Now I am going to apply the A dagger means A transpose whole complex. A one one complex, A two one complex, A three one complex, and so on. A one two complex, A two two complex, A three two complex and so on a13 complex 
ये टू थ्री कॉम्प्लेक्स ये थ्री थ्री कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड सो तो दिस इज एक्चुअली मैट्रिक्स रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ हर्माइटिंग ऑपरेटर तो दी ट्रांसपोज ऑफ कॉलम मैट्रिक्स इज द टू मैट्रिक्स ट्रांसपोज ऑफ ये कॉलम मैट्रिक्स is row matrix so for example ye1 ye2 ye3 and so on is a up to an so if you apply transpose of this column matrix then we can get row matrix a1 ये टू ये थ्री एंड सो ऑन ये ट्रांसपोज ऑफ ए रो matrix column matrix so for example a1 comma a2 comma a3 so on a n is it so this is one matrix if you apply transpose here then we can get that vector a1 a2 a3 and so on a n uh next notation is matrix representation of uh, two inner polys wave function Head vector and brow vector. So we know the head vectors are represented in the column. A one and A two, A three, and so on. Row vectors are represented in row. So A one complex, A two complex, and so on. A n complex. so the product of these two vectors psi and wave function psi equal to a1 a2 a3 and so on up to an an by 1 A one complex, A two complex, 
and so on an complex one divided by sorry one by yeah then you can multiply this a1 a1 complex and uh, a1 a2 complex please you must practice these notations if you can't practice the notations especially in matrix representation software operators matrix representation of inner product you make trouble with to find out pg coefficients well. a1 a3 complex and so on this is ca2 a1 complex a2 a2 complex sorry this one a2 a2 a3 complex and so on up to n by n matrix this is how we represented matrix forms of two inner product of state vectors this is n by n matrix so the trace of an operator trace of an operator So we can represent it like this trace a operator of this notation phi n a matrix and phi n. So what is the trace of this matrix? N into M, right? What is the trace? So we know A n by M matrix. So I'm going to write trace. Uh, this is A11, A12, A13. This is A21, A22, A23, A31. A three one, A three two, A three three. So this is the trace of the matrix, the diagonal matrix, right? A one one, sum of all diagonal matrix plus and so. Okay. Here I give you one important formula trace of an operator and bag that equal to trace A and whole complex. And one more important thing trace of uh, some scalar into operator plus some scalar into operator B plus some scalar into operator C plus and so on. I say, what is the trace here? How we can write trace? So we can write alpha. Trace A matrix, I mean trace A operator, beta trace B operator, plus gamma trace B operator, plus and so on. The final one is trace. 
trace of a product of operator is invariant. And uh, the cyclic representation of this operator. Cyclic repeatance. I click permutations of these operators. So, what does this mean? Trace of operator A, B, C, D is there. Then we can apply this trace. Trace. A by D B C A trace B C A this one is D that is equal to trace C A B D. So I observe this property, especially in uh, quantum field theories. Invariant of uh, operators under the Lorentz transformation. And the invariant of operators under the cyclic transformations. So especially I observe this relativistic quantum mechanics. I observe this property is very much useful. For example, uh, this is A, B, C, D is a rate. For example, here this one B is a uh, operator B and C is inverse operator. For example, B inverse, then it becomes as a one. Then we can get this trace A and a D operator. So, like that, we can apply in a, especially relativistic quantum mechanics. So, this is all about matrix representation of operator.